you, Julian. Um, I think the, the concept of a one-stop shop is fantastic. Um, having been the Cabo Encarnio project in 2005, I've been following the development of renewables in, in the Dominican Republic since then. Um, however, it seems to me there are two other major stumbling blocks to effectively attracting IPPs to the market. Um, one is perhaps uh, less than desired predictability in the queue process um, in terms of interconnection in that it seems there's still some, uh, while well, there is a, an interconnection process, the, the, order, the, the, the order in which you enter the queue is not all the order in which uh, your dispatch is granted. Maybe you could speak to that. And then, of course, really the biggest problem, it seems to me, has been bankability of PPAs. And I know you've taken steps in the last six months or so to implement uh, a guarantee or letter of credit process. And then several multilaterals have also been working on something approximating a sovereign guarantee. But perhaps you can speak to how you're enhancing the bank bankability of PPAs in, in the Dominican Republic. Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, well, uh, regarding to the first question, uh, the law 5707 uh, state that the first uh, energy is, is available. I have to be dispatched at the renewable. Because when you have it, you have to take advantage of that. Okay, it's no uh, a, a, a program, a, no program, the renewable, wind or solar, uh, PV. So the law states that if it is available, you have to dispatch it. Uh, I don't know if that, uh, uh, but there is also a technical issue in that. Okay, and the technical issue is that you cannot dispatch a wind without a backup first. So probably, and that's part of what we are doing right now because it's the first wind farm that we are integrating to the system. And if we have a institution, it's the OSA is to control of the operation of the system. And they are already uh, making some, what they, we call the uh, regulatory uh, plan that has to be in the system, uh, and also the secondary uh, plan. And also they are, uh, with the variable uh, generation, with the wind or solar PV, you also have to get some uh, uh, engines or genset in operational to back up the fluctuation. Even though uh, the one of the wind farms are based on V90, so they compensate a little bit the reactive of, of the system. But anyway, you have to be a backup because you could have, let's say this is a 30 megawatt uh, uh, wind farm. If we go from uh, almost 25 to 10, you are losing 10 megawatts. So you need to have something to support the, the difference, to maintain the frequency and the energy. 